Okay, welcome back guys to Sherlock Holmes. Our adventure continues on and uh, if we can get out of this at the uh, Scotland Yard, which we can, which I guess, I actually don't know where that means we're going, but we need to go back there where you see in that picture, the clubhouse, because we obtained the search warrant last episode and um, yeah, so we can, we're going to go and search the club lounge and hopefully find a, a thing or two in there. That's going to help us on with our, our quest. And uh, yeah, not really sure. I don't know. I reckon it's gonna be uh, like a letter or uh, something. Oh no, we've just literally gone outside. That's a neat little area. Okay, well, we need to go to uh, oh, the club. Let's go. I wonder if someone's going to be in there. I don't know. Maybe he's got a locker in there or something. There'd be something to suggest that he's involved with someone else, perhaps. At this moment, I don't know. I'm just kind of speculating. But, um, yeah, we'll find out, of course. Okay, we're here. Don't know if this police is going to say anything. At your no. service, Mr. Holmes. Okay, they just all seem to be at our service. So I've looked at all this stuff. Okay, still all investigating that. Okay, let's go straight to the clubhouse. I don't know what, what are they doing over here. Let's have a look at these people. Let's see what's going on. Is there anything going on? But where is the statue? Did it vanish? Okay, no. No. Can we talk to him? Let's see if, he, uh, if he's got anything to say to us. Oh, he does. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. Okay, he protests. But we've got the key. Let's go. This one. Key. Okay. <laughs> Okay, interesting, interesting. There's, there's oh, definitely yeah. more people here exactly. than there was earlier. Was but I guess his body's not lying on the floor anymore, is it? Why won't the police say anything? And Why it's gone, I so. People everywhere. Surprising what's just happened. I can't believe there's so many people here. The key magically turns itself. Oh, oh they've got one of them as well. Bear bug. Okay. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. Okay. And this is... The late Smith. Mr. Smith's collection. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. We're just looking at all their collections. Right, so who's this? Sir Robert. The late Mr. Roberts collection. Hang on, hang on. Is the guy that got killed, is, is he going to have a collection? What's his globe? This metal globe is very impressive. Oh, this bit's missing. Some bits are missing. Some bits are missing. Interesting. Is that a gong? These antiques look quite valuable. Oh, what's this? 1881, Guatemala. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. Okay, and here's his collection. Can we look inside? These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. Okay, what's this then? Some sort of deduction. Uh, so we'll go to clues. Greystoke's collection.
I'm a bit confused. It says there's a deduction, but we can't find one. Okay, I don't think there can't be anything there then. Oh, it's just something I think it was just added. Why can't we, uh. I'm a bit confused why we can't actually get that. Let's, uh, let's have a look, look, look around for a minute. And uh, we'll come back to that. Is the bear anything? No. What are these photos? Oh, the club. Oh, oh. Zacharias Greystoke. Exposition to Guatemala. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. Oh. I wonder who this man is. Something else. Oh. Guatemala, eighteen eighty-one. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Oh, it does. Yeah. So that means it's either something. I reckon that's a statue. I think that that missing bit though. You can sort of see like a little stand or something. I reckon there was a statue there. Who's this? Okay, nothing else? Oh, on the table. No? Who's this gentleman? Ah, Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. Oh, this is his desk. Okay. Please advise that we have successfully transferred a new tranche to your club's account. So a thousand pounds got paid in. Okay. March 1881. Okay, so they're buy they're buying something off him. Right, could they be buying that bit of gold? The fiftieth birthday of Lord Stevenson. Ooh. Maybe they're buying the gold off of uh Zachary the Zach Geezer. Charles Yellingham has a large family. But he wanted the gold to sell. Or all the money for himself or something. <laughs> I don't know. these bits of paper. Doctor of all, Mr. Oliver. And Brittany Lovelace. <laughs> what a great name. He was late paying his credit. Okay. Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. I saw something pop up. Oh. Sir Charles desired Grosso's death in order to obtain and sell off his collection. Sir Charles could sell any other collection contained in the club. Yeah, no, I think he wanted it. Because it says gold, and he's got that bit of gold from that statue. I'm with that one.
obviously never draw them. Oh, I've got another bit of paper. You cannot give away this calendar. Someone wants to study it. Oh, Zacharias Greystoke. It's of him. So you can't give away the. Message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. <laughs> this again. This again. Fishy. Okay, yeah, he had time to be prepared. So he knew he was coming. Hey, okay, interesting. Like this chessboard, anything? No. Okay, so that took out, but this, so there's just this over here. This like gong or. But I can't seem to. Oh, didn't mean that. Did not mean that. Do we need something? Just literally look around to see if I've missed anything. Fire's cracking away nicely. It's nice and warm in here. What's this photo? Nothing? Okay. Uh, so, obviously, we've taken the picture. I thought something came up. Okay, maybe it's just like, like a reflection or something. Okay, why can't we... We've got perform an analysis on that. We've got two dialogues. Oh, we've searched the club lounge. Oh, okay. Okay. So we need to go back in, oh, oh, not that. We need to go back to our uh, to our place. And uh, I'm not really sure what that is. We'll probably end up coming back to that. I don't think we missed, well, I mean, I'd, I'll click on it, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So we're going to miss that for now. And we're going to uh, go back to here and perform analysis on that photo. Because I reckon we're going to find, obviously, something out about it. Which is going to suggest another option for us to investigate. Here we go guys, it's loaded at last. Okay, let's go to this table and analyze the photograph. Not really sure why I said that in a weird way, but never mind. Okay. It appears that part has been painted over. 
I need to find out what's underneath. How do we do that then? We put it in solvent. Okay. And... Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. That's pretty cool. That's pretty clever. Hello, someone else. Who's this geezer? Oh, Mr. Butler's face. That's oh, just missed the last chunk of it in the middle. <laughs> okay, I think that's that's all of it. Uh -huh. There's another person in the photograph. So it is another person. Is there anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America? Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, oh yeah. Brilliant. Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. Well, that is brilliant. There's only one place around here that do that. The Hospital of Tropical Diseases. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so what are we waiting for now then? We've got three dialogues. Okay, do we need to listen to them? Okay, we actually can't. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Wait, do I not have like a... Good book down there. Organised crime in London. I do hope that bone has no connection well, he's got to a big bone. medical practice. Okay, do we need to look on the map? A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Okay, I don't think it's anything really for us to do out right here. Okay, I'm not really sure what we're meant to do it at the moment, but um, oh yeah, he said to uh, talk to Charles, didn't he? So I guess that means we'll go back to the uh, the club. Yeah. So next episode, guys, we're gonna go back to the club, talk to the, uh, Sir Charles again, because he still, he, if I get what I say, he should still be there. And after that, I guess we're gonna we'll find out back from Doctor. I can't remember what his name is, but the guy helping Sherlock Holmes out and uh, find out. I reckon this guy will be alive, or there'll be something at the hospital obviously left of him. So, um, yeah, not really sure. But I uh, hope he is alive. It'd be interesting to go to the hospital and uh, speak to someone else and find out um, about their trip they went on in uh, South America. So, yeah, when we come back, guys, straight over to the club and talk to Mr. Phillips again. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.